So once you have set up your MailChimp account and you log into your account, this is going to be your dashboard area. And it might look a little bit different from my screen here, just because I have already set up my audience and campaigns and templates. The thing you need to know is that up here is where all of the magic happens. So this is where you can create your emails, which you can then send out to your subscribers. And this is where you can create lists. So your audience, uh, this is where you can build your audience. Um, here's where you can see more statistics. And this is where you can access all of your content that you've already uploaded to your MailChimp account. So for example, images, PDF files, and things like that. Now, when you first log into your MailChimp account, the first thing that I recommend you do is to create a list. And MailChimp have recently changed the name from list to audience. It means the same thing. So it means a place where you can store all of your subscribers. Now, when you click on audience, you can see here, I have got two lists that have already been created. The first one has zero subscribers, so zero contact. And the second one has one subscriber, so one contact. Now, if you want to create a new audience, the way to do that is to click on this arrow here on the right hand corner where it says manage audience. And then you want to click on view audiences and here where it says create audience, click on create audience. And then you want to complete this part here. For example, audience name, your subscribers will see this. So make it something appropriate. So for example, you could say in my case, natural Vita newsletter from default email address. In my case, it would be something like info at naturavita.net. That's my website address. So I do recommend that you add your website address if you've got one. If you don't, you can add a personal email address here. Default name, again, something that your subscribers will recognize like your personal name or company name. Here you can add how your subscribers joined your newsletters. Here you need to add your address. So this is legally required. You can also enable GDPR, especially if you're sending your emails to European subscribers, then that is mandatory. And I've explained more about this subject in the full tutorial. So please watch that. And here again, you got notifications. So you can choose between getting daily summaries, which I do recommend. I don't recommend one by one. That's just going to bombard your email. So you can get a daily summary of subscribers and unsubscribers. Yes. And once you've completed that, you can save your list. So let me just go back and click on audience here again. Now, once you have created your audience or your list, the next thing is, of course, you can add a subscriber to your list. So you can maybe start with adding yourself. So click on add a subscriber. And what you need to do here is to add the person's email address, their first name. And then uh, you want to click on this person gave me permission to email them and subscribe. If you want to know exactly how to create a campaign and how to set up your sign up forms, like your embedded sign up forms and pop up forms, then I do recommend that you watch the full tutorial, which I will leave at the end of this video now. So you're going to see it now pop up and also in the description box. Thank you, lovelies, for watching the video and see you in the next video. If you haven't subscribed already, do subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.